Hi everyone, I'm Claudia from Live View, and I'll be sharing with you what I'm bringing out to South by Southwest to do Live View's live streaming from that event. Typically, I head out to different industry events and happenings around the world to share with audiences at home what our customers are doing to broadcast from these events. This week, I'm heading out to South by Southwest all on my own to do some of these interviews and behind the scenes broadcasts. I'm going to be using the Live View Solo live streaming solution and going straight to our Facebook page, but I needed to pull together a very simple to use toolkit since it's just me. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions we get when people are interested in Live View Solo is what type of camera should I use? One of the benefits of Solo is that you can actually get better quality input and use a better quality, what we call good glass, to provide better streaming content to your audience at home. Now that could be a very expensive professional broadcast quality equipment that provides an SDI output, or it can be any of the different options available today on the market, such as basic DSLRs. A lot of these have great quality now and are affordable and easy to use. So rather than go and ask some of our live view experts here, I actually went online and did my own research to specify the camera that I was going to use this week. Now one of the important stipulations that I knew I needed to keep in mind was to make sure whatever DSLR I chose that the, both the audio and the video were output on the same channel. This is important because when it goes through the solo encoding device, it needs to be on a single stream in order to come through correctly. So armed with that as my only specification and doing all the research I could, I came upon a couple different options of cameras that I wanted to take a look at. I wound up settling on the Canon 80D. It was relatively affordable, easy to use initially, and I know it has some features that will be able to grow with me as my expertise grows as well. One of the big things that I liked about it is that it had an autofocus feature, which allows me now not to have to worry about what I'm focusing on. For this, these types of broadcasts that I'll be doing this weekend, I will be running around quite a bit and panning around. I want to make sure that that frame is always in focus and, and constantly perfect for you at home. The other is, I wanted to make sure that the flip screen not only flipped out, but also turns around. And this allows me then, as I am doing broadcasts from any angle, I can now see what's on the screen and frame my shot well that way, as well as easily access all the controls. Now, my camera here probably looks a little bulkier than normal, and that's because I opted to also get the, the additional battery grip. What this provides me is with two batteries, which gives me a longer camera life because I need to make sure that my camera will last as long as my solo unit does. The solo unit is battery powered and can last two to three hours on a, on a full battery charge. I'm not always going to be nearby a place where I can plug in and, and recharge my battery, so I want to make sure that my camera can run and gun as long as I can as well. Now, the other piece that I'm also bringing with me is a microphone. This attaches easily to the top of the camera and is important for a couple of reasons. While the microphone on the camera itself is great, this is a pretty dynamic environment and I wanna make sure that I capture any sound of anyone talking very clearly for the audience at home. Again, another benefit of taking your Facebook Live video up a notch. A good directional microphone will cut out some of that ambient background noise and make sure that whoever you're talking to comes in nice and clear. Now for this video, I'm actually using a lavalier mic. It's super lightweight, super small, also by Rode, the same company. I'm sticking that in my toolkit as well because that could come in handy if I'm interviewing one of our customers and I really only need him on camera. I can quick, or her, I can quickly attach the lavalier mic to their lapel and make sure that I'm going to have great sound. Now, other than that, I am bringing my HDMI cable because that's the next most important thing because that's going to connect the camera to my solo unit. And that's how I'm going to get this content into my streaming device and onto whatever destination I want. So with my solo unit, I actually have it inside the pouch here. So you can see this is what it comes with. The pouch actually has a nice belt loop clip here so I can clip it to my pocket or belt. And then you can see, apart from the cable that will attach these two units, this is a pretty compact solution that I'll be able to run around with. 
I did take advantage of what comes inside the solo box, which are these angled USB brackets. I've purchased my two USB modems. I'm actually bringing both a Verizon and an AT&T, so I have a mix of cell carriers to bond together. But by instead of attaching the modem directly to the side, I'm using the angled bracket and attaching that in, which allows me to slip the modems right into this nice elastic pouch. This makes my solo unit super compact and contained, and it makes sure I don't have anything flopping off on the sides and run the risk of losing or having it jarred loose. And that's it. I did opt to bring one more thing, and it's super lightweight. It's this lightweight trigger-shaped handle grip, which attaches to the bottom of my camera very easily. Again, I'm trying to keep things light and simple, but this I felt was a worthwhile thing to stick in my bag, because as you can see now, it allows me to hold onto it really easily, and I can get a good distance back with it. And then it even allows for me to a little bit more stability as I pan and zoom if I'm going to be sharing with you any kind of big perspective pictures and images. So that's it. That's my entire toolkit. It's a grip, the camera, extra batteries, my HDMI cable, my external microphone, and my solo unit. Of course, I'll be bringing my charger so I can keep this fully loaded and ready to go. And I won't forget my charger for the Canon batteries. But other than that, that's all I'm bringing. So you can see it's a very lightweight, very easy to use solution. I hope you'll tune in to our Facebook page and see what I bring to you from behind the scenes at South by Southwest, including a sneak peek of what's happening at the Mashable House. They'll be doing a live show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to Twitter and the broadcast management group, one of our customers, will be using our equipment to produce that broadcast. So I hope to bring you a little behind the scenes of how that's all set up and produced. But other than that, feel free to follow us at LiveU on Twitter or at LiveU.fans on Facebook. Thanks so much.